Congratulations! You have completed this introductory course on Autodesk's Revit MEP 2010. Let's look back at all the concepts you have learned so far. You have been introduced to the Revit MEP engineering workflow, and you now know how to modify the view and execute common tasks. You have also learned how to link an architectural Revit model. You have learned about the system browser, spaces, zones, air terminals, and ductwork. You have learned how to add mechanical equipment, how to create piping systems, how to automatically and manually lay out piping, how to add valves and size pipes, as well as how to inspect and check piping systems. You have learned how to specify electrical systems, how to define required lighting, and how to create color fills and schedules. You have learned how to place lighting fixtures, switches, junction boxes, receptacles, and circuits with and without wire. You have learned how to create switch systems, how to balance wire size and breaker services, how to create panel schedules, and how to check your design. You have learned about plumbing and piping systems, as well as sanitary systems. You have learned how to add sinks to the sanitary system, how to refine sanitary stacks, and how to lay out cold water and hot water systems. You have learned how to specify fire protection pipe settings, how to determine fire protection zone requirements, and how to create sprinkler design schedules. You've learned how to add sprinklers, how to create sprinkler piping systems, fire protection wet systems, vertical supply piping, and how to change pipe diameters. You've learned how to duplicate plan views, how to create dependent views, and how to create plumbing isometric risers. You've learned how to create sheets, sections and call-out views, and how to place views on sheets. You have learned how to create annotations, dimensions, and legends. You've learned how to create model-based riser diagram details, model-based isometric details, detail wiring, and how to draft detail components from scratch or based on imported CAD drawings. You have learned how to create different categories and types of families such as fans, fan-powered VAV boxes, electrical equipment, toilet fixtures, lighting fixtures, flanges, elbow pipe fittings, and annotation families. Practice and experience with Revit MEP will ensure speed in your work and the confidence to explore its extensive capabilities. Don't forget online resources such as user groups and their ongoing discussion sites. Good luck and I wish you positive results in all your future efforts. Here's a little bit about myself, your instructor, Thomas Ganusain. Even though there were other departments that started offering online classes at LCC before the architectural department, I am proud to say that I was the first to start teaching computer-aided design and building information modeling classes online using the Internet and the World Wide Web as an instructional communication tool for the architectural department at Lansing Community College. I have also worked as the CAD and BIM Development Manager at one of the largest architectural and engineering firms in Michigan. During those years, I have authored a complete online searchable intranet PDF CAD manual containing office standards, tutorials, and reference libraries. More recently, I have helped a number of firms in their migration from CAD to BIM software and I continue to do so. When I'm not teaching at the college, 
I am self-employed as a CAD and BIM consultant. In my free time, I enjoy developing my music business. My very favorite pastime, however, is playing with my adorable son Araya and spending time with my lovely wife Carol.